he acts. He gets nominated for Emmys. He does nighttime, daytime. He sings, he dances. Comedy, drama. Max Eric next. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Good song. I'm sure you heard that song on the radio. They played a lot. Yeah. It's so, so, so good. Hi, welcome to another edition of Spotlight On here on AfterBuzz TV and AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm your host, James Lott Jr. You can follow me on all the interwebs. Yeah, I said interwebs at James Lott Jr. That's right. All right, my guest today, you ask, you shall receive. I actually asked him to come on, and he said yes. Yeah. I was like, it's about a nice guy. He's an actor, dancer, singer, fun guy. I looked one under the dome. Who's Hunter? <laughs> um, he's currently Fenmar, Fenmore Baldwin on CBS's number one daytime drama, The Young and the Restless, international daytime drama, Young and the Restless, which he's been nominated for four daytime Emmys in a row. Four! <laughs> We're going to show you why in, in a few moments, of course. Um, he also did the TV, ser- TV series The Path. He played Freddie Ridge recently, and he was actually on our Path after show not too long ago. So you can watch that here on After Buzz TV also. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Eric. What's up? Thanks for you? having me. I'm great. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I was saying, I, I was just saying, you're a nice guy. And so I asked, if, can you come on? And you said, sure. Yeah, I had a great time last time. She yes. was like, yeah. That was great. Not? Now we have fans in here already. They're so excited. If you want to say hi to them in that camera there. What's up, guys? Il Giamo. Oh, I like that. So they're all, they're all, they're in here. They're ready. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Nikisha. How are you guys? We're, we're going to talk. So we're going to talk. Yeah. Now, first of all, the Emmys just happened. Mm-hmm. So, and you didn't take home the gold, of course. But I have this gold over here. Yes, you do. <laughs> you know, she's like, oh, she's like, oh, she's off camera. I'm not showing her right now. Uh, but no, but it's funny. But the, but the bigger picture is every year you get nominated. Congratulations Thank on that. Thank you so much. You know, it's so funny because I was filming Under the Dome last year and I had to fly in on a red eye and film those three episodes in one day. Oh so I was God. just surprised that I was able to get through the episodes. So the <laughs> fact that I got nominated for them was, I was very surprised this year, truly, because yeah. I. Filming three episodes last year. I've been. It was a busy year for me. I was filming in North Carolina, and New York, so I wasn't, yeah. wasn't even here. So you're a trained professional. That's why. I you got I it. winged it. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> winged it enough. Honestly, you got nominated. My character was going through so much stuff that the stress of that situation of having to film and then fly and film it actually worked oh. for the given circumstances of my character. So yeah. you know, they're like method actors, and you know. I pretty much did that for me. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> to message. We're gonna talk about under a dome because I have some questions for you about yeah, that. We'll do that in a second. But yep. how? So because you were doing, I mean, to be blessed enough in this business to have two shows going on. You were three doing actually. Three. I was doing a hundred things too before high school at the same time. At the same also. time. I knew yeah. you did that show, but that was the same time too. Uh-huh. Okay, so you must have a great time. scheduling person, right? Yeah. Well, it was so funny because <laughs> when I flew in to do those three episodes, someone from a hundred things called and was like. I, I saw on his Twitter that he's in town. Is there any way he could just come in and just film a few scenes? And I didn't get any sleep. <laughs> and I did them, and I flew back, yeah. Oh, my it's, God. It's um, coffee. Coffee, everybody. It's favorite. Starbucks. Starbucks. Cold Cold that's right. And it keeps you awake. But that's just, that's amazing. In this business where it's hard to get one job sometimes, you're, right now you're, you're in demand. I mean, I know why, of course, but you're in Appreciate demand. That. Um yeah, you know, I've been doing this, I've been performing since I was four years old. This yeah. is my true passion, so yeah. I, I feel very blessed to be able to do this. Do you feel life. like where it's just your calling? You can't do anything else at this point. No. This I it. mean, see, I've been doing acting, but I'm actually, I've been in the studio recording for the past few months, Wait. so that's that's the other... Is there? I heard a rumor, it was Skrillex you're working with, is doing some songs, or a You'll song see. with? It's exciting. It's exciting. I, I, all I can say is that it's super exciting. I'm buying it when it comes out. <laughs> you know, I'm supporting it. That's so ex- oh, that's it. Um, oh, Max was so good on UTD. Um, you know, but that's exciting. But I mean, but Thanks. this, but this whole entertainment business, you're just mm-hmm. like, I'm in. This is it. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't doing it in the entertainment industry, I'd be entertaining somewhere, someplace. So this is just what I do, and this is what I love to do. I yeah. love to make people feel. I love to just entertain. So that's what I'm here on this earth to do. I like that. Now, you work on a soap that has powerhouse actors. We ain't talking some slouches. We're talking Tracy Regal Bregman, talking Christian J. LeBlanc, who, like, never ages. <laughs> Doesn't age. He has this special potion that... I'm <laughs> kidding. I, I don't it's, know. It's, it's, no, it's, cra- no, it's he just, crazy. You know, he, looks... he has such he has great energy, and I think, like, his yeah. vibes are so good that 
I think it just translates into into that. And that's must and just must be because he's, he's a good just, guy. I, Has he been on here? He's what? been in our studio. I haven't met him yet. He's yeah, been in the studio. He's a cool I, guy. I heard he's a cool guy, but I just thought he just looks. I've watched the show for like thirty years, whatever. Mm-hmm. And he looks the same. Yeah, it's just it's much. like ben, like Benjamin Button or something. Something's going on there. <laughs> What's going on? Um, <laughs> but I mean, funny. so how do you handle the pacing of because you do nighttime and other things? The pacing of a soap. Mm. I mean, how do you like memorize your lines? How do you keep all that stuff? Because you've had some monologues. I mean, you've had mm-hmm. some scenes there. You know, I come from a theater background. I'm from small town in New Jersey, and then I went to uh, high school in New York City, professional performing arts high school. Oh, I got there. Okay. So I'm, I'm theater trained. So I'm okay. trained to be able to do something in one take. And wow. that's just where my training comes from. So soap operas are actually the closest thing to live theater because we do a scene in one take. Um, but all of that has come really in handy for all the stuff that I do on the path and under the dome and yeah. other projects I work on. It's just really given me some sort of, like, I don't know. I feel like I have, I've developed something in my brain where I can look at dialogue. I'm sure. And it just, like... I it wow. just I can say it right away. I I a lot of actors and actresses. I'm not just like some special yeah, no, no. guy. <laughs> I'm not like oh my god, yeah. I'm not that far up my own. You know what? Um, but no, from having to do that, from having to learn sixty pages a day, I've I've you just you just make it work and you find ways to make yeah. it work. And I I'm blessed to have such amazing co-stars because. It's acting is about the other person. Mm-hmm. It's about your scene partner being present, and li- present and listening and responding. Mm-hmm. So I've just been blessed because Tracy Christian, and then you have Michelle Monaghan on the yes. path and under the dome, like Mike Vogel, Dean Norris. Oh, yeah. The list goes on. I missed that, miss miss that show. I missed it. It was getting. It was really getting yeah. good. Third season. I was like, oh my god, why are you? We we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> But yes, the senior but yeah, scene so partners. I've just been really blessed to have amazing scene partners in in the shows I work on, and I really credit my stuff to them because. You acting is reacting, and so it's mm-hmm. not about you; it's about the other person. That's true. It's, it's like I said, staying present in there, listening, yeah. listening to them say the words, will cue you on how you're supposed to act and say your. And sometimes, words. like the yeah, and the dialogue is the last thing that matters. To be honest, mm-hmm. obviously, like I I, res- I want to say every single word on the page because I know the of writers course. have an exact intention and work with some of the best writers in the world. Yes. So I try and say every single word. So. Just uh, yeah, but at some point you have to kind of just like let it fly and just <laughs> yeah. be present and tell the story. I interviewed Eric Braden recently. Oh, okay, great. And uh, just incredible legend, obviously. Mm-hmm. He talks about how he learned from some people where they look at the page and they're done. Yeah, they got it. Well, sometimes that helps because then you don't overthink it. Mm. That's why sometimes when you have so many things going on, you, you literally don't have time to like think twice about it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Have you when you were doing those? Three different projects. Did you ever slip up and like say, I, I, "I'm Fenmore"? No, I'm Hunter. No, I like. Yeah. Was there any kind of like? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> somewhat. I mean, but it, it, the environment. I like adapt to my environment, okay. and I feel like I always bring some part of myself. I, I don't ever think of the characters outside of myself. I try and mm. search within and find and just like bring out the character and relate to each character and um. So, no, I have, like, certain techniques that I do that are top secret that I can't... I'm kidding. It's no. just us. No <laughs> one's listening at all. It's just us two talking. No, I, I, you know, for each character, I have certain music. Music inspires my oh, characters. And wow. I have character journals. I really do my homework. So, I, wow. it's never just like, oh, maybe I'm Hunter or this. It's like, I, I've, I can't not. My teachers growing up at Professional Performing Arts High School and other the Actors Institute in New York, yeah. they'd kill me if I didn't. Because I, because wow. they'll like that one episode that they actually tune into, and they'll be like, "Really? Oh, thanks, Max. Yeah, thank you. Good job. So yeah. I, I owe it to them. That's that's very cool. The character is like, so okay. I have to go to the chat room because people are like, "Oh my God! I'm just tell them I'm here." Okay, so Justin Given says, "Awesome, Max from YNR. You rock." Thanks, Jacob Marquez, who I know. Hi, Jacob. Says the path is so good. So I love that you have varied uh, fans. Um, yeah. Zena, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correct. She's fantastic. Madi says, I'm uh-huh. here, my heart, arm. Um, love Hunter, you're the best. She's fantastic. Hey, yeah. Veronica. Hi. <laughs> the voice of an angel. <laughs> uh, you're the best. Actually, I've heard, actually, I've heard from several people, um, they told me that you both were like just the nicest couple. I've heard from people. Thanks. Before I, before I met you. I did, I heard that. Thank you. So that's right. That's good to be known for being nice. <laughs> Nikisha Jones says, I miss Fillmore, Fenmore on YNR so much. Oh my god, they say that. 
So people are, yeah, people are talking. Uh, so I'll make sure I give them those shout-outs because they're watching us and they, they love you. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. Because seriously, when I posted, I was I was going to interview you. I mean, the, my tweets just like went up exponentially. My retweets, <laughs> they're just going on. Yeah. But for a varied audience, which is yeah. great. It's not just for one show or two shows. And that's what's been really, really awesome. It's really because of the fans that I'm able to continue doing what I'm doing. And they inspire me every single day. And whether or not I'm filming or recording, I love to try and give some behind-the-scenes yeah. To what yeah. I'm doing. So just a sneak peek into my life also. Fenmore is kind of a troubled soul, mm -hmm. you would think. Do you like Fenmore? Um as a person. Yeah, I do. I do. I I have compassion for him. To do, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you is it important for you? Like, did you like Hunter? Is it important for you to like your character? Yeah. Well, and I'm sure you find something in there, right, to relate to. I have to. Yeah. I mean, I live with them. For... <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, yeah. Yeah, so I, I definitely find aspects. I might not agree with them. Max might not mm. agree with them, but I definitely find I. they all have a reason why they are the way that they are, and I have compassion for them. Would you and Femmer be friends in real life, you think? You're like, no. <laughs> like, he's um, crazy. It no. depends. Now, I mean, Fenmore kind of has his stuff together. Yeah, he's mellowed out. Yeah. yeah. So, probably. You'd be nice. <laughs> just, I would just, like, keep him away from the punch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Keep him <laughs> at an arm's length distance. I definitely would not trust him in my life at all. Hunter, on the other hand, I would season two, season yes. three, mid season. No, I wouldn't trust him. But after that, towards <laughs> yeah, the yeah, end, no, he was he working no, it out. He's a good guy. Hunter's yeah, a, good a really guy. good guy. He was a good guy. We were, it was good. So I mean, so under a dome. I mean, it was it's you know, Stephen King. Mm -hmm. It was the thing, and it was on. And a lot of fans. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I did the after show here at After Bus TV, and we had a lot of fans. We were on really late, too. Um, they would tune in. But the Domies, as we named them, they were so <laughs> passionate about the yeah. show. And when your, character, the, the, when your character, the glasses came off, mm -hmm. and they were like, oh, my God. It was like Clark Kent. They were like, you're so good looking. <laughs> We heard that all the time. It was so funny. He's like, "Wow, where did he come from?" Like he was on last season. What's going on? So, how was it playing? Uh, how was it playing Hunter? On I movie? loved playing yeah. Hunter. That was one of my favorite characters. Computer hacker, get in there. Yeah, because that's not me. I, I yeah. mean, I don't know anything about computers. <laughs> I can hardly. I mean, my computer is crashed right now. Like, I need to go to the Apple Store tomorrow. I don't. Most of his technological terms, yes. I would have to do a lot of Google searches on <laughs> pronunciation because I didn't want to make a fool of myself. Yes. And I learned a lot from him. Yeah. Because he's super smart. Yeah. We're really great In cast. In different ways. We're we're, really great cast. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, Rochelle and, and like I said, Dean and Dan. All, they're all just such a great cast. It's a really great cast. And we were all, you know, placed in North Carolina to film this. So we all really bonded mm -hmm. and created a... A Domi family. A Domi family. Now, how did you feel about the ending? How did I feel about the yeah, ending? Yeah, how did you feel about the ending? Um, I think it was a good resolution. I mean, I think it left you hanging of yeah. knowing that <laughs> stuff is still going on. Like, and yeah. that's interesting. I think yeah. it, it had a beginning, middle, and end. It was only supposed to go one season, and I think it had the perfect conclusion. Yeah. And CBS like, knew exactly how to conclude mm -hmm. it, and I thought it was fantastic. So how was it being, because, uh, I mean, obviously you love CBS. Because mm -hmm. you do not shows yeah. with them. So you've been on night, primetime, and daytime on CBS. That's mm -hmm. been great. So CBS has been a great great to you, hasn't it's it? It's been a great home for me. Yeah. I, I feel like it's rare that an artist can kind of grow on a network, and they've been really great to me, so I'm really grateful. For yeah, well, that was good. Now I'm going to ask you to describe in... The, f the first word that comes to mind for you when I say their name. Okay. And you tell me you tell me what uh, what word comes to mind. Lachlan Buchanan. Funny. For me, it's gardener. We talk gardening tips online. Okay. okay. He and I always talk gardening stuff. Yeah. Tracy Breckman. Sweetheart. And beautiful. Beautiful. Just, yeah. Christian J. LeBlanc. Hysterical. <laughs> 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 Greg Rickert. Really kind. I've heard that. Yeah. I heard he's like, like an super... older brother to me. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard that he's, he's, he's super, he's super nice. Okay, so we're gonna show a part. Okay, we'll go ahead and throw it to the video. What if I didn't say anything? That, like, have you ever had anyone say like? So far, no. No. I had one person kind of go, well, you know, and start drinking their juice. <laughs> I was like, oh, so you don't want to speak? That's but funny. so far, no. People have been. Actually I would say honestly, I, I can't help but speak the truth. So. 
You better not like to have some other people. <laughs> I'm all, you like oh, 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 I'm all, I'm all, Billy Thomas Scott, I thought <laughs> Eileen Davidson. No, no, I've worked with great people. I've, I haven't worked with any D-list yet. I'm all, Hunter so. King. <laughs> no, yeah. She's one of my best friends. I was one of your best friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. I just thought I'd throw some names out. But <laughs> I'm like, please just tell the truth on my show. That's what my show's all about. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Okay, so we're going to show some of your of your work from Young and the Restless. Cool. Right there. When Courtney asked you Here's my Cameron. where you got those drugs, and you said it didn't matter. Well, Finn, it damn well did. You said you had no clue what it was. Yeah, which was stupid, seeing as you got the stuff from a stranger who turned out to be a killer. No, no, no. What did this person even like, have on you that could even I make you consider putting us in danger? <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you said that, I kind of get Sean Kerrigan's funny. I don't just stand up. So Say again? Sean Kerrigan. Oh, yeah, so he's funny. great. We had so much fun with this group of actors. He took a page from my book. It must be fun when you guys all get together in to groups. I see it for a second. Yeah. A we all grab lunch and do Somehow all that. this person found out and threatened to go to the dean of students, my well, future would have been ruined. My, my, I, I would have been expelled from school. Your future, just like my husband's and my best friend's. Oh, no, wait, they don't have a future thanks to you. <laughs> this is all about a grade? You could have just repeated the class. Oh, Finn and Courtney it. were murdered. Finn, they were murdered. What? And you were not get, get kicked out of school? What do you want me to say? Okay, I am sorry. No, what do I, I am, am. I am sorry. But what? Calm down, no. God, that dare say. you want. He lied to all of us. A lot. I love it. I was so like, go on, Doug Davidson. <laughs> but what about him? He's a long time legend. Just get cool. back to doing what legend. we be doing this time of day. So I will leave when I oh, we still on? I guess I'll, let's, 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 we'll do a little more. I don't get how a so-called friend could have deceived us like this. Finn, people accused me of killing Austin. Courtney was murdered. Abby was hurt. Sharon was charged with a double homicide. <laughs> you let all that happen too. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you're just out yeah. west, solo, walking around terrified. You are He's such. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> I know that you're all upset. Put yourself in Fen's shoes for a minute. Yeah. Kevin, you don't have to defend me. He was finally off drugs, finally out of trouble, going to college like a normal the single kid. tier. The single I love it. I <laughs> love it. I was like, you did it perfectly, too. They're like, I'm doing three shows right now, guys. I was like, piling on me. Crying. <laughs> like, this is going to be over. It's no excuse. You know it. Okay, fine. How many people in this room have I got to hang out. I'm just, I had so, so much fun at the Emmys the other week just to hang out with you guys. Yeah, I'm sure. Summer. Okay. Come on, Stitch. Come on. Mariah, I mean. You've all done yeah, stuff. It's true. It's true. I've done some terrible <laughs> all hypocrites. They've all done all things. Such rebels. <laughs> you know <laughs> such damaged individuals. <laughs> but you think about it, all of them all have. They all have something. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. I know. As much to blame. As I love Melissa. Know, she's great. She's all right. Too. No. Cool. But that's fine. We'll just show that part. You can watch wrestlers online. It's all online. You can watch them. Every, you can watch them on your wrestlers. I mean, it's on there. Um, no, but so most people were just saying when we're watching that. It must be fun when you have group scenes, big group mm-hmm. scenes. Everybody gets together and it's like they're well, then they're piling on you. So obviously you're the the butt of the of the scene, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So man, it must be a lot no, of fun. they're all screaming at me. Basically, yeah, the whole day. And you're like, oh, I haven't no sleep. I gotta do <laughs> another dome tomorrow and this other show in like two days. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I was living in the, my character's thoughts. It was more just like the guilt of the just seeing everything that I did all at once and living in his shoes were much worse than living in the traveling shoes. Oof, I'm sure. His, yeah, he has a big burden. Yeah. It was heavy. Yeah. Even watching it, it's hard for me to watch stuff after I film it because I go. Somewhat back to that mm-hmm. place, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. No, so, can you do you go back to it in a way Excuse of like? Me. I know, just like <laughs> oh, it's a single tear. Give me a single <laughs> tear, then I'll let you go. Like, uh, but nobody. Do you watch it and start kind of critiquing, or do you watch it? And you feel no. the emotions again. I just watch everyone else. To be oh, honest, watch everyone else I like yeah. just I phase myself out. Okay. I just don't even. I don't. Yeah. I'm not critical. I'm not praising. I just don't even. It's like a, a blurred image to me. Well, it's kind of cool that you actually, yeah, because you're, cause you're in like the scene. I like watching to see, yeah, yeah. How, it, how the cinematography, I'm more interested to see the cinematography, what songs they chose for music supervisor, yeah. chose for the scene. Because you have good writers and directors. Yeah. That show is so well produced. Mm. 
You know, because I know I know it's sold as a nighttime show in other places too. So it's it's a well produced. No, yeah, show. in in other countries, mm-hmm. it's a nighttime show. Yeah, so I mean, you're on nighttime there too. Um, Nikisha says, "I love the Valentine's Day storyline last year. It was amazing." Thanks. <laughs> well, yes. And, oh, Finn is so misunderstood. He is wrote. very misunderstood. You think he's misunderstood, or you think we do understand him? Both. <laughs> he, it's a really tough age. I yeah. mean, just we've seen him through his teenage years and yeah. uh, going to college, and that's a really rough time. Is yeah. I mean, like that age too. So it, it, you're finding yourself, you're losing yourself, you're finding yourself again, and constantly. Plus, you have these two parents who still think they're young. <laughs> Their storylines, they got things going on, having affairs and things. And <laughs> they what, what, have a more interesting, like, oh love God. life than Fenmore. I know! <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, these two have all kinds of... Well, then, of course, then Michael had the cancer story. I mean, there's yeah, all kinds of stuff going on heavy. with them. Very yeah. heavy stuff. So when you when you have a heavy scene like that, or the ones with... When you find out he has cancer, that kind of stuff, do you... How do you shake it off after that? Is it easy for you to shake it off? Does it take you a while to shake it off? Do you have to mm-hmm. run five miles? Like, what, what I do, do a lot do? of yoga and meditation. I listen... To music, uh, lighter music afterwards, try and release it, yeah. kind of shake it off. Yeah, yeah. So I have a specific like yoga practice that helps. Oh, really? Okay. And I like swimming, the ocean. Yeah. Feel like that cleanses my soul. And yeah, I love yeah. the ocean. I live near the beach. I love. I, I will not. I'm not moving. I love living over yeah. in the west side. We just side. moved to Malibu. Yeah, I saw. Looks very nice. Your, your view does look really nice. It's, yeah, it's been my dream since I was. Yeah however old like six seven eight years old my screen name so i'm from new jersey my screen yeah. name was malibu man 624 oh, how funny i didn't live in malibu my other screen name was la surfer 91 i had not surfed ever wow but i was i've always been drawn to yeah. just california and all this yeah and the just beaches the, here the are beach. different I'm, I'm such a beach person yeah um i don't think i knew i was gonna do all of the entertainment industry stuff right. here but i just love right. the beach so you probably would have been out here anyway. You probably just would have been out here I would have been anyway. here no matter what. Right. I probably would have been like a hippie on the beach. Just like... <laughs> I can picture that with you. Singing like with a attitude guitar. I can, I can be like, and that, that, Good segue. We're going to leave. We're going to change paths. Yeah. Paths. That's, just, that's another pun right there too. Yeah. Um, and... That show is... I had such a great time. Well, let's talk about path. that. So Freddie Ridge, which you played yeah. on the air. How many episodes did you do on that one? A few. A few, yeah. yeah. And, and so... The story's not over. Um... The show just got picked up for a second season. I saw, which is I heard. Awesome. I'm actually taking over Hulu's social media this Sunday for. Uh, okay, tell them that. Yeah, I'm taking over Hulu's social media. Uh, be definitely doing the Snapchat for the advanced screening of the Path finale on Sunday. Oh, wow. And so I'm excited to see everyone because they're so sweet. Like, Aaron Paul's uh, one of the nicest people you've ever met. I've heard that too. Meet. I've heard that. And that's so cool because he's such a talented guy he's that. Very talented. Yeah, and he's been around for a while too. But even before Breaking Bad, we he's actually, been around for a while. We had like a same like youth agent. Like we we oh, gone wow. down similar paths. Oh, there no he goes. That path comes in again. Um, but yeah, he's very inspiring. He's a really really great wow. guy and great actor. Wow. And so okay, so let me let's let's break down each one. How did each? How did Young Arrestus come into your orbit? How did the path come into your orbit? How did Another Dome? I mean, how did those get I me? Mean, which is regular auditioning, and then you just um, kind of yeah, you know. So when I was going to high school in New York, I was blessed and got a recurring role in Ugly Betty and so I was deciding nice. between whether or not I was going to go to NYU's acting program or whether I was going to do TV, TV and film and I got a phone call asking me to come back for the fourth season of Ugly Betty but then I booked this uh, Lifetime movie called The Pregnancy Pact. And, oh yeah, I remember that movie. Yeah, yes. So they had yes. me out here and so I was doing <laughs> that and then I was doing some pilots for CBS and and I went to New York because I wanted to do... I did the original cast of Newsies at the Paper Mill Playhouse. Oh, okay, yeah. And great, then, great musical. Yeah, I had a great time doing that. And then came out here for a trip, and uh, I was asked for my agents if I wanted to read for this role with Christian. And oh, so I him. read okay. with Christian, and uh, we really just went at it. Father, yeah, son, oh, just like, we're oh, just that. on fire. I, oh. I hope we have the tape somewhere. I, I don't know hope they have someone to give. yeah. But we were just like... We just had this like love hate relationship wow. in the, those scenes, and so then I got that, and then um, after two years, I uh, I met with Matt, someone over at CBS that yeah. did a CBS casting, and uh, just yeah, I read for everyone under the dome, and we vibed, and I was in love with that role, so yeah. I I was happy to do that, and then. As we were wrapping under the dome, the path, I read the script and was like, I need to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah. I saw the people attached and was yeah. just like, I'm in. Yeah. In. So it happened. Wow. Do you like auditioning? 
do I like auditioning? Um, I mean, it depends on the on the script. I enjoy doing the scenes. Mm, okay. So I don't view anything as auditioning. I view everything as a performance. It's mm. I'm in character. I get to play that character for the day, and if mm. it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I don't have any attachment to any of it. I I Fist want what smart. serves the story, what serves the bigger picture. It's not about me. It's about the story. So I don't even view it as auditioning. That's very cool because I, I talk to people. I interview. I mean, interview a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I always ask that question just to kind of. It's 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 like a it's a general question, but yeah. I get really interesting answers. And your answer is really good. That you you go in, you treat like any other job. So yeah. you're not being paid. You're just you get to play in. the character for a day, and you right. take something away from that. Uh, you you uh, that if you really love the craft, then you should. If someone says they don't like auditioning, then I'm skeptical as to like why are you doing this because you're getting to play different characters yeah. all the time. So. Is there is there one character that you wish you could play like whether it was a one time or like on their don't pad mm -hmm. that you wish you could continue it at least on some kind of recurring basis that you really love doing that you wish you could continue? That's overall at this point. I'd like to continue doing Freddie Ridge's journey on the path. Okay, so you want to stay there? That, you hear that guy, that, season two? <laughs> that journey's not over, so Yeah. Yeah. What is it about Freddy? What is it about the role that you like the most about it? I, I mean, so he's a recovering heroin addict. Yes. Who keeps relapsing. It's such a dark, damaged role. And one of the first movies I ever loved was The Basketball Diaries. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't and know. And so Leonardo DiCaprio, that performance mm -hmm. is what really got me into acting. And so. Oh, okay. I mean, the fact that I get to go down a similar path and. It's, no pun intended again. Yep. Um, yeah, and it's so I I would never do that at all. Yeah, like, I don't obviously. It's so far from <laughs> it's you. So far from me. Which is great for an actor. Exactly, and the character is so influenced by this like rock star attic chic look, and I think I'm spreading a message, a good message to kids of like this is no joke. It's no joke. It's no joke. Do yeah. not. Do do not try. Do yeah. not indulge in any of that. Yeah. Life is beautiful. You do yeah. not need substances. So, mm -hmm. if I could spread those messages of uh, positive influence while also telling a really powerful story, that's why I love doing what I do. You do it well too. Thanks. Um, music. Talk about music. Mm -hmm. So I know you did some in, in dancing. I know you did some stuff in High School Musical three. You're, mm -hmm. I think you're were you in the chorus, I guess, or were you one of the sure? Yeah, I had a featured role in it. Yeah, yeah. featured. So you're in this. So you were in that, and so but you actually are a singer. Mm -hmm. And so you're working on some stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So anything you can tell fans that just like what they can look for? You, you're recording right now. You're. I'll say, I guess the most, the, the person that makes me the most excited that I'm working with, one of them, um, Malik Yusuf, who okay. has worked directly with Beyonce, John Legend, Kanye oh. West, All right. um, people from Skrillex's camp, uh, DJ Calypso. The, oh, wow. the people I'm working with are really top of the line, and yeah. we're making some stuff that's making me so excited i can't really contain myself and wow i share it with all my friends and family and i'm not allowed to email the music so <laughs> if you're with me i like play it right, 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 right. just, it's like this yeah. secret i have that i wow. can't tell quite yet wow and i'm just like jumping out of my skin <laughs> wanting yeah, to share yeah, it yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because you're one, of those, you're one of those people who like you do like to share your work of course and yeah. so this is something you have to keep under wraps i can't i can't share anything mm -hmm. right and it's very frustrating because <laughs> i like to show i love my fans so much i, know I you love do. to show them everything yeah. not everything but i know we don't know what you mean yeah so i want them to hear but when when it's ready it's ready well, so is it, so i still want it to be perfect so i'm yeah. i'm i don't want to share it until it's ready to be yeah. shared I'm doing a song too, actually. It's kind of funny. Are you? My friend, I, I always thought it's a jazz song. I just want to do one. I'm a Freddie's producer. So I just want to do one dance song my entire yeah. life. Just try it out. I'll be a one hit wonder. It's fine. <laughs> but I just want to try it out. I, I like, actually, I'm enjoying the process of writing a song, recording, putting music together. It's been a lot of fun, just kind of just the process itself, because I've never done it before. Yeah. I've done acting here and there back in the day. But I mean, I'm, a, I'm a host, I'm an interviewer, I'm a producer. I do that kind of stuff. But kind of doing because I love music so much. Yeah. I love dance music. And hearing my voice, I've done voiceover work too, but like my voice in a song is like, it's very interesting. It's a process. Yeah. It's, a, it's definitely a process. <laughs> Especially yes. because a lot of my stuff is very raw, so I'm not doing too many effects on vocals. So what yeah. you see is what you get kind of thing. I don't want to, 
and to sound a certain way on the radio and then for me to sing it live and oh, yeah. either have to not uh, either have to sing with the track or not i am looking to do only fully live performances Ooh, right i will not put out unless i'm really sick and, <laughs> yes <laughs> and, but even then i just would cancel a show because yeah. i just my integrity level of training i've had is from broadway veterans and i just yeah. i feel like it's necessary for me to constantly be singing live and you've done effect. newsies have you done is there a musical that past or present you would love to do um hmm. production the universe hamilton no Go on. there's a lot of great musicals i'd love to do um a musical i grew up on was hairspray oh yeah um and i actually just i just did a reading of merrily we roll along with michael arden who did spring awakening yeah, and Dick yeah. west and yeah. I worked with multiple, pretty much everyone there had a Tony Award. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. Marissa Janet Winker, oh, Steve wow. Kazee from Once. Yeah. Uh, then you have Titus from oh, Unbreakable yeah. Kimmy Schmidt. Love him. Yes. Uh, and then Michael, who just got yeah. a well-deserved Tony nominee. Yeah. And yeah, I was just speaking to Marissa, and she was just telling me about her experience with Hairspray, and I was like, that'd be. It feels like I, I, I feel that. like I am living kind of that life yeah almost, yeah well, yeah with the recording music and everything yeah. so that would be cool i could see you this is my own thing i could see you in a chorus line hmm that could be fun actually because you know i, mean, I don't know if you've ever seen it or heard the mm -hmm. music but for reason i could picture you i don't know why for fair but i can picture you in it that'd be cool leads yeah i also uh i really like the play of mice and men so Ooh, be a okay cool play to do yeah, well, are there any other plays you like to speak of? This music is now plays. My so many other ones you, that you like out there. You're like, well, I'd love to tackle that character. Or yeah, that Twelve Angry Men. Ooh, wow, it's a great play. Yeah, um, a mammoth play would yeah. be amazing. Yeah, um, you're so trained, so I'm, I'm sure you. Yeah, I'd also want to do a new play that Aaron Sorkin writes. If he did write, well, yeah, I mean, can you I'm imagine Aaron sure Sorkin? Oh my god, I would really would love to work with him because I feel like. We have similar brain patterns. Oh, how funny! How <laughs> Just funny. when I hear his dialogue, I yeah. sometimes laugh out loud. Social Network is one of my favorite movies that's of good, all time, and I laugh out loud because I'm like, "That's how quick my brain moves." And mm. I like he is quick. Yes. It's just it keeps you on the edge of your seat. I'm like, yeah. you have to be moving that fast to. Yeah. Jesse Eisenberg does a great job in that. He, no, he did. He did a really good job yeah. in that. That's like exciting. You, you have music. You have acting. You have daytime. Is there anything else that you would love to like try? Right now, I know mean, you're busy with other stuff, but is there anything you'd like? I'd like to try blank. Try uh, this. Yeah. Um. Probably directing. I also. Okay. Um. I, I I like fashion. Cool fashion. Oh, okay. Um. So like, I really dig Top Man. Okay, I love yes. all their stuff. We were yes. actually just at their opening at the their new place at uh, the Americana. Um, oh, the Americana, yeah. So I I'd wanna I'd wanna make like a like a cool clothing line. You should. Yeah. You're hip. You got stuff going on. Yeah. You got good hair. You do it. <laughs> um, okay. I love. Okay. So someone said they loved the pregnancy practice you were in. Jacob says I love working with Pro Tools and mixing, editing, music, recording. Mm -hmm. Uh, Root King says, Max is so cute, his Instagram is off the chain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know Root King. I know, I know you from my other shows. I know that's great. Yeah, my Instagram right now is covered with photos from Luke Fontana, who's one of the best photographers out there. And oh, wow. my girlfriend and I, we just did a, did a photo shoot with him today, so I'll be posting all of them soon. You heard that, folks. Yeah. You heard that. <laughs> Luke Fontana. Hi, Luke. You guys shout out to them. So, I mean, it's, it, how important is it in LA, in this, especially in this crazy business, mm -hmm. to have a good core group of people in your life that you can kind of move around with? How's that important for you? It's super important. Have you found it? Do you have that? I have my girlfriend, I have my family, I have her family. That's good. It's a good foundation. <laughs> and I have uh, my producers, honestly, they've become my best friends. Good. Okay. I, we are not only co-workers, but they become my core group. And then I have other core people who are just there for me yeah. on any day and are not friends with Max the actor, yeah. Max the singer, or whatever. Yeah. It's just like, just me. just. Mm -hmm as a human being and so it's very important for me to have people in my life that are not my friends for what i do it's very interesting in this day and age because you can usually tell what kind of person someone is is when they're want to just all their intention is is to take a picture so you tag them on your yes. instagram yes. or twitter or something 
and it's just so funny because I'll do it. I don't care. I'll, yeah. I love shining the light on other people, mm-hmm. but you better have good intentions, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And I, I, it's just important. You're an old soul. I can mm-hmm. tell. I like it. You're an old soul. You, you totally are an old soul. You're just like, you, you have a lot of wisdom going on for being so young. Mm. It's good. Thanks. I, I just had a birthday. I just, I just turned a, a certain age, so. I don't believe in age. <sighs> I mean, well, actually, you know, it was really funny. I got into this business later. It was called Later in Life. Mm-hmm. And it's like, but in a way, I feel like it's right on time. Yeah, I there's no... I don't. I, I'm very Eckhart Tolle in the sense where I don't. I read his books. Yes. Yeah. So it's yeah. the, the time is now. So yeah. Now is when it was supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. But it only happens when it's supposed to happen exactly. to you at that time period. And I always say, you know, it's, it's like I said, right on time. It's right on time. There's been so many coincidences in my life, and I am like, why did that happen? Why did that? Happen? And then it all just falls into place. Maybe not how I want it to. Maybe not True. at the timing I want. But patience is virtue, and intention is powerful, and it all just happens exactly when it's supposed to happen. I agree with all of that. I agree with every single thing you just said there. It's, it's, it's so true. Thanks for being on. Yeah, thanks for having me. I could talk to you forever. I got yeah, so many things. We could just more things. Yeah, we'll we, we just stay up. We'll do this live anyway, feed until like four stay in the here. morning. We're just going to stay here. We're not leaving. <laughs> you have to kick us out. That was cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for now, having me. Now, tell them in that camera mm. where they can find you on social media. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, at Max Eric, M A X E H R I C H, and on Snapchat at Maximus Eric, M A X I M U S. What um, yeah. What is Eric? What nationality? What background is that? Lots. There's lots of people. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a mutt. Got it. Yeah. We, love, we, love, we love a good mutt. We love a good mutt. So the best dogs and things I've got have is more mutts. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for And having you me. can follow us here on iTunes. And on YouTube at AfterBuzzTV.com. Look for Spotlight on. Look for his name. It's going to be on it. Also, be on all my social media, which is at James Lott Jr. on everything. I'll be posting this. We'll be posting it again on Twitter and Facebook, and he'll be posting it again. So share with everybody who are fans of his or friends of his. Share with everybody. And we're going to watch him as he continues, because I think you're going to, you, you should be a leading man for the rest of your that. lives. Thanks. For the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you very much, and we'll see Thanks you next time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Look at it. He looks like what's going on. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.